Okay, we'll start with the Mustard C53S size 8 curved nymph. This is the rubber leg stimulator uh, pattern from my good mate Jim Slattery. And go back here. I want to go back to quite a ways. Back there. And we need some Tarantula rubber legs. And I want to tie this in on one side and a little ways up the hook shank like that and then we pull it down onto this side and we go back down. So we get that fork tail and we can just cut those off. I can maybe trim them down again later if they're too long. So that's good and then I'll go back up here like that and a little bunch of stacked fine deer hair and I just measure the tail on that so I can hold it there and I'll start here at the front so I cover the full length of the body and I can tighten up as I go back just flatten my thread and go back here that's good and I can put a couple of wraps in just tighten up a little bit to flare the tail a little good and then we'll go back up here little tighter before I go in and flare all that deer hair I'll just get rid of it come into that like that and what we need is a piece of fine nylon this will be the rib and we just want to tack this in right into the tail base and just hang that out the way like so and we can go back up here need to fill out that body there a little bit like so I want to give this a red body I'll just tack that in there and I'll go up and gently pull that through and then I'll go up here and what we can do is just brush pull the floss through your fingers to flatten it. Let's give that five or six more winds because I'm going to go here want to wind all the way back past you. Watch out you don't uh, get into the hook point with your floss otherwise it'll all flare up so what we can do now is we can just go gently over the tail to keep all that together and then we go back up just have to wind that thread again now people ask me why I don't use a bobbin 
lots of people are, are, are bobbing cradle when I'm wrapping. It's just that when I'm filming, the bobbing cradle gets seriously in the way when I'm tying. So if I was uh, doing it without filming, I would use a bobbing cradle, but not when I'm filming. Let me just go back over the end like that. I can take our fine scissors and just trim that off. One of the things I like about this pattern is that you can choose your own colour combinations. It's great. And of course the original from Jim had no rubber legs. This is uh, the rubber leg variant. So we just go there. I'm using a March Brown hackle for the body hackle. And we just line this up. It is a beautiful pattern. Lots of hackle. So we go to that and then we take our nylon rib and catch the hackle in and go up over the body The, this March Brown hackle is actually from Jim himself, from Jim's Flyco. Uh, he has uh, one of the world's largest selections of whiting hackle. So his shop is worth having a look at. That's Jim's Flyco. And just tie that off and we'll trim off that there and then we'll come in here careful you don't trim the tail off and um, just get rid of that hackle there good okay let's go back like that and I need another bunch of deer hair which we'll just measure like that Tighten into that and go through the hair like so to stop it spinning. Good. Then I can trim off all this. So, flatten my thread, I can go back over this, good, let's check that I'm in the correct position underneath, I'll stop all that from flaring very shortly, I just need a tiny bit of tiny bit of rusty brown super fine here slide that up and get the wing like this there we go there's the wing nicely put together then I'm using another hackle here, brown hackle so let me just tie that in there and I can go forward with that like so and then we go back right into there set of rubber legs I'll just place those on there and we'll pull them over like that tighten in good 
on the, on the other set, which we'll place on that side, like so. Tiny bit more dubbing. Slide that up. Make a couple of turns. I want to pull that out a little bit. more. It's always easier to add a dubbing rather than trying to take it away. See there. I'll go forward, that's good, and then we can take our hackle. in between the legs and then we'll pull that leg back and pull that leg back and then I can go forward on the way to there and then what I like to do is just pull off a few of those fibres so I get a nice clean hackle stem to tie off two or three times around like that and then pull the hackle back two or three times in front there on my tying thread. I'll just give it one more. There we go. Trim off that. Trim off the hackle. There's one rogue hackle fibre there. And then I can trim off the legs and get hold of them. To approximately oh, same size. I like the front ones much shorter than the. And that's the finished rubber leg stimulator. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.